When you go to do that 40 ounce malt liquor, Shandy. I'm not going to. <laughs> I know you guys are doing something. <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> it's on your neck. It's a problem. Look at that. It's not a hickey. You see, like, there's like, oh, it looks like a mark. Yeah. It's a hickey. Well, it's Let me see if it's a hickey. Let me see. I scratched at that earlier. Oh, sure. Yeah, this looks like a little bite. Looks See like, the marks right looks here? Looks like a hickey it? to me. I'm about to kick him in the fucking balls. You got a little hangover today? New Year's Eve, you had some fun? I'll be your dad, take that hangover away. Yeah. No. Come on, Shandy. What are you drinking? Is there alcohol in that? No. Yes, there is. Let me see. What is it? There's not. Do a 40 ounce with me. No. Why? You can't get drunk and take care of your kids at the same I'm time? Tired. No. What kind of mom are you, man? <laughs> you should be able to get drunk and take care of your kids. Yeah. Alright, so when are you going to do a 40 ounce? I don't know. You don't know? Soon? You said something about using some device to do it with. Beer bong. A beer bong? So you're going to do a 40 ounce malt liquor with a beer bong. Cool. Sometime in the next what? Week. In the next week. Say, I promise, YouTube. I promise, YouTube. That? That I will ha do a beer bong of a 40 ounce malt liquor before the week. For fear of the victor. Yep. Right? Yep. He give you a video response. What do you think about that? Cool. Okay, we'll see if you got it. Hey tubers, Teal Times here. Coming at you with another 12 ounce Tuesday. Well, made it through Christmas. Made it through New Year's. Got a special guest today, Mr. Colin. Don't mind him, he's awful loud. He just. <coughs> just gonna do a little salt in there. Yeah, I saw it. Did you have a good New Year's? I did. Did you get drunk last night? I did. Did Shandy get drunk last night? She did. Did she? Well, we first want to start off with, uh, we really tried to get Shandy to do a 40 ounce malt liquor video tonight because Fear the Victor sent me a personal, uh, private video uh, challenging her to do a 40 ounce malt liquor. And uh, she just wouldn't do it today. Why, why do you think that is? I feel like she was a little hungover. Yeah, too hungover? I told her hair of the dog, man, that's the way to go. But I told her to make it feel better. Yeah, but she got to take care of Paisley, and she promised she'd do it within the next week. So I'm counting today, starting today. So anyway, guys, you can look forward to seeing Shandy do a 40 ounce here in the next week. Let's put this thing to work. That's right. <laughs> but on a serious note, guys, I've been really worried. I've been, uh, I just, I've been really worried about my mom lately. Um, a lot of you guys know my mom. She has her own uh, YouTube channel called Carol Ann 183, and uh, she's got a lot of videos. I know a lot of you guys are subscribed to her and watch her channel. Um, right now, mom's in intensive care. Uh, she has severe case of pneumonia and she's having difficulties breathing, her oxygen levels are very low. We're, we're, we're very, very, very worried about mom right now. So mom, I know you got your little tablet there at the hospital. Maybe you'll see this video, I hope so. Uh, but 
I love you. I hope you get better, get well soon. And uh, I'm sure maybe some of you guys, if you want to send her a little shout out or something, uh, you know, hopefully she'll get it. But anyway, I'm sure hope mom gets better soon. So, but got a lot of topics to talk about tonight. We've got a whole list of shit. A whole list of shit, man. I tell you, the first thing on my, we're going to call this my shit list. My temp, for now. First thing on my shit list is <coughs> Obama. <laughs> Starting today, January 1st. One big ass mistake, America. <laughs> Starting today, <laughs> I can't believe he got reelected. I know what the, sorry. Man. Anyway, that's just my personal opinion. If you like Obama, hey, that's your opinion. You know, I'm not here to argue with you. I didn't like either candidates. I didn't vote. I didn't like either candidate either. I did vote, uh, but I did not vote for Obama. I like the fact that Mitt, Mitt Romney had binders full of women. That was that was topical. <laughs> You know, you would think that uh, all these extremely intelligent, wealthy people in this country, that the Republican Party could come up with a better candidate than Mitt Romney. You know? I mean, I didn't like Mitt Romney. Captain Collins for president. That's right. Captain <laughs> Collins for president. But, you know, uh, but anyway, needless to say, uh, Obama won and he was reelected. And I think this is going to be the beginning of the doomsday prophecy. He's going to drag us all down. Hopefully that doesn't happen. You know, I've heard a lot of people say shit like that. But I'm going to tell you what, with Obama, with this Obamacare, he makes it sound all good and well and this and that. But a guy like me that owns a dental laboratory, I'm faced up to about 5% new taxes just on sales taxes. And my personal taxes are going to go up 15 to 20% just to the feds. It's fucking unbelievable. So everybody in the dental... Freedom dental, isn't free. Freedom isn't free, yeah. And it's not even medical, it's dental. Now, I'm sure that even if you have government health insurance, I'm sure your dental, if they even give you dental, you won't get any increase in services. And they're not going to be willing to pay more because of the taxation. But, in turn, just so all of you guys know, when you go to the dentist and you have a crown or an implant or a denture or a bridge, if it goes in your mouth, uh, be prepared to pay more. You know, when things like this happen, uh, it just gets passed on to the end customer. So, uh, sorry to tell you that, guys, but uh, increase in taxes. You know, they haven't, uh, they still haven't come up with a budget yet, which I think is fucking retarded. Obama hasn't come up with a budget in four years, and he ain't gonna start now. He's just gonna keep free riding it, man. You know, we have Manhattan. Uh, that's what we have for, uh, um, security. That's, you know, what we have up for collateral, for all these loans to China. Manhattan. I mean, that's why they do all the trading. And, but we default on that. And I read this thing the other day online. And it, it was telling me about money. Mm -hmm. And, let's see if I got another bit of money somewhere. But, uh, on the money when they print it, mm -hmm. you know how it's green? The you seal is? Smoke. Yeah. Right here, the seal's green, the numbers are green. Uh huh. The reason why it's green is because our country's in debt. Have you ever seen one with red, with a red seal and red numbers? Huh. With some of the old dollars? That's when our country's not in debt. Really? When was the last time you seen one with red? I don't know. <laughs> That's news to me. That's new. You learn something new every day. I can't remember ever seeing one. I mean... Me either. Huh. We've been in debt a long damn time. Yeah. Well, one day we may wake up and there may be two million 
some anonymous donor in the world is going to give us 14 trillion, 16 trillion dollars. I don't know where we're at now, yeah. 17 trillion. No, we're going to wake up one day. And Bill Gates is going to bail this, the country out. Manhattan, <laughs> Manhattan is going to have 2 million Chinese soldiers sitting on it saying, uh, we occupy this now, this is ours. Because we can't pay our debt. Because we've got a bunch of bozos and clowns running the country. But it sucks, but that's just how it is, so. Whoever elected him, I hope you're happy. Um, another thing is Obama starts, uh, he's got a war on guns, man. He's going to start some serious gun control. Only a fool thinks that, take it, that, the, that the gun's the root problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you can pick up your gun, set it on the table, and it's not going to go off. No. It has to be physically. I have guns. Worked. Yeah, I mean, you guys have seen my shooting videos. I mean, God, we had all the kids up there at your at your pop's house, out there shooting, having fun. But you know what? Beyond that, the Second Amendment is you have the right to bear arms to defend yourself. And I'll tell you what: if they take away, especially the government, I'm gonna get it. You know, it's it's you know it's a shame that all these tragedies have happened with all these massive shootings and the latest school shooting and, and this and that, but. There's other ways of dealing with that. I mean, you can teach and train someone or multiple people in every school how to use a weapon and how to defend. Exactly. With proper training. When we had a terrorist attack on American soil. What yeah. did we do? We ramped up security at, at airports. Yep. Well, it's very clear that that's, yep. that's not going to be an issue ever again because our security is tight. How about ramping up security at schools? Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? They want to tax you an extra 200 bucks to re-register all your guns and this and that and take away the guns that, no that they don't want you to have and, no and all that stuff so that's a big money maker there too but come get my guns <laughs> yeah but come get but you know you know you, you start there and then the next thing you know they're going to take all your guns away but you know what another thing is you talk about these assault rifles and you know let's say for example let's talk to all of you preppers out there um, I'm subscribed to a lot of prepper channels that are that do a lot of prepping. I mean, what type of weapons do you have? Let's say all hell breaks, breaks loose in this country. Uh, you have to fortify yourself and defend yourself. Let's say you have a small community of people, your family and friends, and you've got a plan to support yourself to where you can eat and, and defend yourself against looters and things like that. Well, hey, you know, one of these assault weapons might come in handy then. You know, um, what if uh, the country goes to shit? I mean, our, I mean, we're already turned into a communist country. All the shit they're doing to us now is all capitalism. It's all capitalism. And the United States of America does not want anyone to have guns like this because they don't want us when the shit hits the fan here and they, they believe the shit's going to hit the fan because of the economy and how the government's controlling everything Taxes. and taxing the shit out of us. It's unbelievable. They don't want us rebelling against the government. So they certainly don't want us to have these types of weapons. Now personally, I don't own one of these types of weapons. But I don't think that it should be illegal to own one. If you ever wanted to, now's your time. How's your time to get it? Oh, shit, after the law goes in effect, uh, shit, you'd probably go to any trade show or gun show or, or flea market and find somebody on the on the sly and buy these things for half the price they're going for. Now they're probably a couple grand. Now you probably get one for half of that, you know? So, I mean, China and Russia and all these other companies that are gun manufacturers in other countries, they're not going to stop manufacturing and shipping these guns here. Not they're, only that. They're still going to come here and they're just going to be bought illegally. Not only that, but you don't see any of these countries trying to stop their citizens from owning guns. Well, some of them, but... Some of them. But that's the, not the United States of America. They don't have the Second Amendment. But I think... I think that gun control is bullshit. People, I mean, uh, guns don't kill people. People, people kill people. You've just got a certain amount of mentally fucked up people in this world 
that find ways around it. If they want to get a gun like that, they're going to get a gun like that, whether if it's illegal or, or legal or illegal. You know, it's it's the the citizens, the law-abiding citizens that own gun, that own guns that are going to suffer. Yeah, that are going to suffer. That's all. Ninety-nine so. percent of them are just enthusiasts. Yeah, but I don't wish to harm anybody. Me either. I got lots of guns. I don't. I'm not gonna harm anybody. Don't need to. Unless I have to. You know, unless somebody's intruding my, you know, breaking into my house and ruining my middle of the night, or trying to cause harm to my family, or something like that. I mean, you know, then God, you know, I have to live with that the rest of my life. You know, I'd be doing the right thing. But, you know, i seen a video, this chick that, uh, this mass murderer was just killing people. She was out in Texas, and she was talking about this big shooting that happened, and she's like, oh, <coughs> damn, thank God, you know, I got my gun in my purse, you know. So she reaches in her purse to get her gun, and she, remember, she took it out of her purse and left it in her truck. And she said that had she not done that, she could have saved one of her parents' life by shooting this guy. She was right there, could have killed the guy, could have kept him killing from so many people. And, you know, that's what you need. You need more people carrying guns. Yeah, you need more good, honest people with guns. Yeah, you need good, law-abiding citizens carrying guns. Cause that gonna, will keep crime down. They're going to make the right decisions. They're going to make the right decisions. So, I don't know. A lot of depressing bullshit this week, guys. But that's really about all I got this week, guys. Um, we tried to get Shandy to get on here. That's a big old list. That's all you but got. But she's a stick in the mud. That's it, man. We covered it all. That's all you got. Yeah, we got a cheat sheet. It's right there on the tripod. <laughs> but anyway. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Finally starting to crawl. He's getting around good. Paisley snoozing. You'd never know if mommy did a 40 ounce, would you? You're snoozing. <laughs> I know, you're just being a good mom, right? Mm -hmm.